all I want to see is Benson chasing Tim Glover across the, uh, the, the little grandstand area here with trying to get hold of uh, Tim Glover's sausages, which is always a thing you don't that think has about to in the morning. be the most peculiar start to a TT chat show ever. Would you expect Chris anything Kinley? else? No. Good okay. morning. Uh, good morning to you, Christy. Good morning to everybody listening around the course. We know already we've seen pictures on social media of people in their spots that they've probably sat in for the last 837 years. They always want to get there. People do that. They have their little spots. And it's very similar to the Northwest 200 on the, on the race day Saturday morning. What people do is from the race day Thursday night, they leave the little wind breaks and their, their little chairs in their little ensconced area and they just like to sit in the same spot. Me, I like to move. I'm a man on a mission. You are a man on a mission, yeah. but you're going to be obviously all around here today. Yes, I am. Yes. Damn. Yeah. I knew there's something wrong. I can't believe it's the last day. I know. It's bonkers, seen your isn't it? Day already. What have we got roads closure wise? Just quickly well, run through that for people who don't yeah, know. Yeah, so that you know. Uh, so the clock of the course, Gary Thompson, has confirmed that conditions are good all around the TT course, and today is going to run as per the published schedule. So at 8.45, Brule Park, Ramsey to Bungalow will be closed. Nine bungalow to Craig Nabar closed and at 9.30 a.m. the entire course will be closed. Two races today if you don't know buy a programme please. 10.30 is the locate.im sidecar TT race 2 three lap distance and then 12.45 the Poker Stars senior TT race over six laps. And at apparently <coughs> at 11.50 uh, John McGuinness Norton Parade lap? believe so yeah believe he's going to be yeah, doing another lap today. To 12. Is that official now is it? Well it has been posted uh, on our Twitter feed. So. Oh has it? Alright <laughs> yes. okay that's alright just thought I'd just, you know, just thought I'd double check you know uh, good morning again to Sergeant Andy Reid. Good morning, Andy. It's gone quite quick, isn't it? This is two weeks. just flies by. Yeah, very, very much so. really has gone quick. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, thoroughly. It's been, been a great... The weather's been brilliant and, uh, you know, the, the racing and the atmosphere has been really, really good. And, of course, uh, the first one, you've been away in all these media training things for the police, but it doesn't prepare you for sitting in the Radio TT studio, does it? No, no, it doesn't. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a great experience, and thanks for having me. It's That's been really all right. Good. No problem at all. We'll let you come back in, in, when is that, September time, if you want? 70 maybe. days. Is it really you, Saddle? You've got a... You've got a <laughs> John Caldwell. John Caldwell's a sat man today. Yeah, stat man. Stat man today. So, somebody told me. Oh, 70, 70 days. August, yeah. yeah. August, September yeah. time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reverend John Caldwell, John... To, to those who know them and uh, we all went down to that well-known drinking establishment that is now in the Villa Marina we did last night yes uh, just to see a uh, whole lot of Rosie were pretty good they, they were fantastic yeah, and so yeah, was yeah, the uh, yeah, Nigel Williams band as well oh, very Nigel. good <laughs> yeah he's a yeah. legend Nigel, Nigel Williams we will don't know just think about the, the, the bar in the uh, the Palace Hotel or the Hilton or Best West and whatever it's called now yeah, the ups, upstairs there very very good these young fellas good on the old he's acts fantastic. isn't he they, they, were, so, yeah. they were slick weren't they they were They're really really good warming up everybody else and the drummer's not bad he plays in some band called La or something like that. Never heard of them. Thank you. Nice That's plug. A, do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I like that plug. John, what are your thoughts on the last day of TT? Well, obviously we've got Balan tomorrow, which is the most important race. I'm Absolutely. It is, of course. That's what they Absolutely. tell us. That's it what is. they tell us down yeah, the Southern Hundred course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. forget the Southern Hundred course at all. No, please don't do that. No, no. It's a cracking. It's a cracking day. Go out, enjoy it. Mm. Um, it's been a great TT. Uh, great memories being made. Um, final day, blue ribbon racing today. Blue ribbon, I love blues. that word. Blue, yeah. blue ribbon. It's just like, I like the chocolate. Bar. I was going to yeah, say, yeah. it just makes me think of the biscuits. But yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the song? No. I've got those blue ribbon blues. Sorry, that's it. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Other chocolate biscuits. Are yeah, available. Are available. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, With in happy feet and things like that. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. Yes, enjoy the day. See, see the race day. Anything could happen and possibly will. Where are you going, John? Uh, staying local, I think. Might just oh. go down, go down the road somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Get your long lens on and train it up here. Yes. It's a good shot. What's the, what's the, your favourite spot along the, the the top? Just looking for Sininia's back up through the, the gap and then back back up the road. Yeah, it's nice all the way down Brails. Nice all the way mm. down to Quarterbridge. It's okay. uh, by the way the sun's going to be today. Mm. It should be it should be spot on. You look at Bray Hill. You just think of them all thinking that they they do they talk about going off the end of the world, mm. don't they? When they just just go down Bray Hill, just imagine what they're feeling going down there. Yeah, there's. I mean, if you once you stood in one of the gardens down there, and there's all the houses and the trees frame the road, and you can't if you're actually on the pavement, you can't see it. But if you just look up and you watch the bikes going down the hill, it's an awesome. That's mm. steep drop. Yeah, and you know yeah. there's a cra huge crowd at the bottom of Braille. Mm. I'm sure it's already full down there now. Mm. Uh, there's a huge crowd down Yeah, it's just been confirmed. Um, there's, there's a huge crowd down there just in anticipation of every bike coming past. Mm. And people's faces still light up like mm. they do at Christmas. You know, it's like, what? <laughs> and, and, of course, all the little clips that have been out of people coming for the first time <laughs> um, and sitting on close on the hedges um, and, and the bikes flying past them. Um, there was one of a guy in a white T-shirt somewhere out the back of the course and yeah. he was like, 
Whoa! Yeah. It's like <laughs> he just turned to jelly. He did, yeah. I've sort of but, seen that uh, one as and well. And that's actually. the TT effect, isn't yeah. it? And yeah. it, it, that's one of the great things about this place. From a police point of view, uh, Andy, busy day out for spectators out on the road. Yeah. Uh, what's your message to them? Please adhere to what Andy's saying. Just have a listen, please. Yeah. Uh, t- today, obviously, last race. If you if you're out on your bikes now before um, before race starts, be safe. Uh, we don't want any crashes this morning prior to racing. Not only are you going to get hurt, but you're going to delay the race. Some, some, obviously, quite a few people are going to be going home today, so we don't want them missing out on seeing the race mm-hmm. if the race is delayed. Uh, and the, the, the most, the biggest message of all, uh, adhere to the marshals. Uh, mm. Do what they say. It is the last day, uh, and the police are not going to relax if, in terms of what if the marshals complain about somebody being on closed roads. We're going to be just as proactive and robust as we were at the beginning of the, the TT today. So yeah. uh, listen to the marshals. Listen to the marshals, and you know I know a lot of you out there will be probably may, maybe here to the TT for the first time. And if you are welcome, enjoy the day, enjoy the the, 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 the TT experience. But I said it before when we were just having a conversation off air. If you go to Donington Park, you're miles away from the track, you can't get near it. Mm. You go to Knock Hill, you go to wherever you want to watch racing, you will get as close as what you get here. And you know, your actions, if you go onto the road, could be very, very consequential for a lot of people. So please do not go on the road. If you're not sure about it, just ask the marshals. Or alternatively, there's a lot of diehard TT fans out there. If you try to get on the road, I'm pretty sure a lot of them will try and stop you, to be honest here. Just please enjoy the final TT day. I think also as well, it's not just Mm. about going on the road. You know, it's Mm. being aware of what you've got around you because there was a bit of wind at Craigna Bar and you could see people's coats were nearly sort of Mm. blowing. And if a coat goes onto the track, plastic bottles, there was a chair up there, wasn't there? Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple of days ago. And even, you know, people putting their phones out so far into the track. And there was was a comment, wasn't there, about flash photography as well? Just be really careful because mm. if you distract those riders when yeah. they're going that quick, it's so well, dangerous. Just, just to echo your selfie, selfie sticks. Selfie sticks, yeah. yeah. Just just absolutely no, no, no selfie no, no, sticks. I mean, just to echo your warning about everybody getting to where they're getting to. Stay yeah. safe Take on the your road. time. Take your there's, time. I mean, th- there is a location on the Isle of Man where there's a lot of broken bikes mm. all piled up. And when you see them together, you suddenly realise what you guys have had to deal with, yeah, yeah. particularly over the mountain. Um, there's a lot of broken bikes aren't going anywhere apart yeah. from the scrappers now. Yeah, exactly. um, and that's people going having to make their own way home without a bike and everything else. Yeah. If it's your pride and joy, look after it, enjoy it, but take it back off the island. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the, as I said, same as we want people to go away and look back with fond memories of this yeah. TT. Okay. Yeah. And uh, get your rubbish, as we said, bag it up, put it in a bag and, you know, take it home with you as well. Mm-hmm. Or find the bins, you know, p- please just, just keep, keep the island tidy. There's an old uh, slogan, <laughs> isn't it? That was the old one. Uh, we're just coming up to 7.53 and a half. Sergeant Andy Reid, listen, thank you very much for coming in. Also, Great. Inspector Gavin Callow for coming from the police to give us all the information yeah. uh, that we need to put out here on Manx Radio TT. And the Reverend Canon, Sir Bishop, whatever his name is, just John. John. John the, John pe- John, John the pizza John. knicker. John the pizza knicker, that's what he is. is was he stealing your pizza oh, last night? I paid for it. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming from a Yorkshireman. <laughs> <laughs> John, thank you very much as, as, as always, John. Brilliant. Brilliant. Is, yeah. And uh, Chrissy <laughs> Dehaven, thank you. You'll be back after 8 o'clock. This morning, we've got... Um, Gim Tlover, whatever his name, I think that's his name, coming up. Uh, John Watson from Alaman Newspapers. And, of course, Dave Moore from Greenlight Brilliant. TV after 8 o'clock on the...